Okay, welcome back to part two of how to create a simple PHP login. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show you how to create the the PHP code. So, if we open up Dreamweaver, um, if we delete all this code out of index and save as and save this as login dot PHP, open up PHP tags. And before we start actually doing anything, we need to start a session to make sure that um, no one can access pages without um, setting a session to begin with. So to do that, session underscore start, that will allow no one without a session to be allowed to see the page. So now we need to get the username and passwords from the previous form. So username is going to be equal to uh, post and in that we're going to use the username from the last one. So this variable here called username which is a PHP is going to store this PHP. It's going to get the u what the user has entered in this username field and the same with the password so just copy and paste that down and change the two usernames to password right so now we've got the username and password we need to create an if statement now to see if the username and password match so if so if the username and and is by two of the and symbols and password so if this value is true if they've both been if they've both been entered we can um continue on down here so if they've both been entered we're going to create another variable here uh, bring that up a bit like that we're going to create a variable called connect and this is going to connect connect to the MySQL database you created in the last part so from here we need to MySQL underscore connect and um, we need to create create the um, your local host username and password in these speech marks here so the first one is your local host or the host of your database the second one is your password and the third one I mean the second one is your username and the third one is your password. I haven't got a password set, so I can just leave it as blank. So, um, um, so now we've connected to it, we can just create um, an error message here. So, if if um, if we can't connect to that particular database, kill the script and say couldn't connect to database okay so now we need to create um, we need to select the um, uh, what, what was it the, the, the database the table sorry so my SQL underscore select underscore DB and in here it was what we called uh, if I get it back up for you which is what we called this here database which where we called it as login so here login and 
um, or die if it can't connect to that login we're going to say or die um, couldn't find database so now we've connected to the database successfully uh, we need to create a query here and the, this query is going to equal mysql underscore query because uh, that's uh, what mysql runs by and in here we're going to say select and we want to say select all so star select star which will mean select all the information from the database and from uh, select everything from and we named it as users so select all from users where I'm um, going to select all the usernames not name user and this is going to be then equal to another variable uh, username so select select the username from the database and see if it matches the username what the user has entered so after this we need to um, find out how many rows the table has got so to do this my sql underscore num underscore rows and basically just find and just use it from the query which is what we had there so see how many number of rows is in the query so see how many number of rows is from the table database and um, the table users so now we can now we've found out all the number of rows and the selected usernames we now need to create an if statement to say if if the number of rows doesn't equal zero so which meaning if it is true so if there's something there we're going to say um, while which is a loop so loop the number of rows my underscore sql underscore uh, sorry my sql underscore i'm going to fetch underscore and going to use the query for that and in here now so now in here we need to say we want to create a new variable called db username so the username from the database and that is going to be equal Oops. and that is going to be equal to the username the user has entered and same again copy this down and change db username to db password and the same here password okay so I'm going to continue this tutorial in our part 3 so stick around for part 3 see you soon